let's talk about biotechnology. What are its types? And what sort of products can you produce using biotechnology? Biotechnology is basically using microorganisms like bacteria and fungi to produce the products that you that we want. That's it. That's all to biotechnology actually. Producing products using microorganisms and their systems. That's all to biotechnology. But the amount of products that you can produce using biotechnology is really big and really complex because the microorganisms, the bacteria and its systems are really very small. So maneuvering and controlling them is not that easy. And handling these uh, systems and microorganisms is also very delicate and time consuming. That's actually what we learn as biotechnology students, researchers and just general, just biotech researchers. Let's take a look at the terminology. So biotechnology is also called bioengineering sometimes. And sometimes we use biotech as a shortcut for biotechnology. But actually, biotech are the products that we produce using biotechnological methods and systems. But we can use them as a shortcut. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just catching on. Biotechnology isn't something new, actually. Humans have been producing products using biotechnology for like thousands of years. Things like things like bread, cheese making and brewing. These all are made using biotechnological methods. But the modern biotech product development has opened new doors, which allows us to utilize microscopic life to produce thousands of new products like antibiotics and other useful drugs. We've got vaccines, artificial organs, different types of enzymes. We can make hybrid species, we can increase the food productivity. We can also do things like DNA analysis and modification and specialized cell therapeutics and the list goes on. Biotechnology itself is not a discipline, but it's a combination of many other disciplines like physics, mathematics, uh, microbiology, virology, genetics. In chemistry we have um, biochemistry, analytical chemistry, organic and a little bit from many other disciplines. Let me give you an example. For instance, you have an idea. So what you do is you make a hypothesis and then you do your calculations. And through your calculations, you can somewhat predict your end result under given circumstances. And then you go through with your experiment. And if your experiment was successful, then you can introduce your new product to the biotechnology community or uh, to the market. As you can see, in order to go through with your experiment, you need other types of disciplines. By applying these disciplines to develop new products for well-being of life itself is all what biotechnology is about. Biotechnology is divided into seven types and unlike other fields, biotechnology is categorized in different colors. So the first type of biotechnology is the red biotechnology. Red biotechnology is health and pharma industry related vaccines, medications, enzyme and hormone production, artificial organ production, all are done using red biotechnology and also some interesting methods like DNA sequencing for uh, disease diagnostics and DNA printing are also done in red, bio, uh, red biotechnology. Next we have the green or agricultural biotechnology. So uh, as the name refers, it's related to agricultural sector. So in green biotechnology through genetic modification, we can produce things like fungicides and pesticides. We can also uh, improve the flavoring of the crops. We can also increase the productivity, crop protection from adverse climate conditions. Next, we have the white biotechnology. So white biotechnology is actually industrial biotechnology. That means we can produce things like biofuels and other forms of renewable energy. We can also do a better recycling. We can also control the gas emissions and etc. And next we have blue biotechnology. So blue biotechnology is marine biotechnology. And um, in production sector, in blue biotechnology, we can produce uh, better cosmetics and uh, healthcare products. And blue biotechnologists do also a great job in cleansing the oceans. The fifth type of biotechnology, which I forgot to mention, is the yellow biotechnology, which deals with food production, efficiency and storage. But we can also do some exotic things like removal of fats from cooking oil and uh, removing some bacteria from meat, etc. On number six, we have the gray biotechnology. So using gray biotechnology, we do water cleansing. We do a much better recycling. We also try to decrease the CO2 levels in the environment. Number seven, we have the gold biotechnology. So gold biotechnology deals with the DNA and the proteins involved in the reproduction. 
The gold biotechnology allows us to separate, unlock, analyze and store the genetic information. So things like a very detailed genetic study, finding out factors that influence the gene expression, DNA printing and many more implications. So basically gold biotechnology is related to bioinformatics. That's it. Those were the seven types of biotechnology. One thing you need to remember that the applications of biotechnology are not limited. They're evolving really fast. There's always some new exciting information on biotechnology and I plan to make videos, well, more importantly, better videos <laughs> on biotech. If you watch this video till the end, I just want to say thank you. I know the quality of this video was not that good. I myself am not impressed, but what I can say is that I'll try to get better as soon as possible and I'll see you guys in my next video.